Welcome to the lesson on evidence for evolution. In this lesson, we'll be examining five pieces of evidence most scientists believe gives credibility to the theory of evolution, including the fossil record, homologous structures, vestigial structures, biochemistry and genetics, and embryology. Let's go ahead and get started with the fossil record. The fossil record is not the strongest evidence because there are gaps in the fossil record. This is because fossils do not form regularly. They must have specific conditions in order to produce them. There are many types of fossils. The first is petrifaction. Petrifaction are organisms falling into water with large amounts of minerals which turn stone-like. Examples, petrified trees, shells, etc. Second type of fossil are molds and casts. Molds and casts are impressions of organisms found within sedimentary rock. For example, leaves or the impressions of these shells shown in these pictures. Another kind of fossils are tracks, impressions of organisms' feet in solidified mud, such as the ones shown in these pictures here. Amber is another type of fossil. These are organisms trapped in fossilized tree sap, for example, insects or pollen. You might recall this is what gave uh, scientists in Jurassic Park the ability to extract the DNA from insects that probably fed on dinosaurs and reproduce the dinosaurs for that amusement park. The last type of, of fossils are the ones formed in ice. Organisms frozen or flash frozen that may have their DNA intact. And examples are the woolly mammoths pictured here, for example. Our second piece of evidence most scientists believe gives credibility to the theory of evolution are homologous structures. Homologous structures are organs similar in stru internal structure, but may be different in function. For example, the human arm, cat's paw, the bat's wing and the whale flipper all have similar bone structure. They have one upper, two lower, seven wrist, five hand, and 14 digit bones as shown in these pictures here. Another example are parts of the brains of all vertebrates, which correspond and have similar functions. Scientists believe homologous structures gives credib credibility to evolution because it provides evidence of common ancestry. The third piece of evidence most scientists believe gives credibility to the theory of evolution are vestigial structures. Vestigial structures that are, are organs that no longer have a function. They are thought to have evolved from ancestry, which used to have a use for the structure, but no longer do. And examples include the human appendix, follicular muscles in humans, eyes in blind cave, fat, cave fish, hind leg bones in pythons, as pictured here on the left, and whales gill slits in mammals, which are still evident during the development of humans, and tailbone in humans, as pictured here. The fourth piece of evidence most scientists believe give credibility to the theory of evolution is biochemistry and genetics. This is generally considered the strongest support for, the, for evolution and is the basis of taxonomy. taxonomy. Biochemistry and genetics show similarity of genes and proteins in related species. In fact, all mammals have greater than 80% overlap in their genes. For humans and chimps, the estimate is 95% of the DNA is identical. 
Even humans and plants share many genes. Again, biochemistry and genetics considered the strongest support of, of the five pieces of evidence for evolution. The fifth piece of evidence most scientists believe gives credibility to the theory of evolution is embryology. Embryology is generally considered a fairly weak support for evolution, but it's suggestive. In this, the embryos of related animals are similar for longer periods of time. If we compare, for example, uh, these embryos for the fish, salamander, tortoise, chick, hog, cat, rabbit, and human, what this is saying is that um, as you uh, start out here, seeing how they're all similar, that uh, embryos of related animals are similar for a longer period of time during the development. By the way, just pointing out, this is why the pig is often used in biology courses during dissection, as we have uh, the anatomy is very, very similar to studying ourselves. Okay, now let's take a look at the video in which Hank goes more in depth with the scientific evidence that supports the theory of evolution.